We don't really use a lot back home, uh, but I, I realize here uh, people are just describing everything as hectic. Uh, I'm from Washington, D.C., uh, just like Brandon. Um, uh, and my country, uh, like we're, we're in the belly of the beast, uh, right? And uh, they just decided, I, I just saw online today, they decided uh, to renew the pledge to fund Israel at even like larger amounts, like military aid. 30, $38 billion over the next 10 years from the U.S. government. Like, like we don't have stuff to spend that on at home um, and things like that. Um, so in light of that, I, I felt it was right for me to do this piece. Uh, I call it Dear David. A six-sided star fishes for identity on my chest. Tucked under a mixed family, it dangles like a worm on a hook under American waters. David, you've become a constellation we no longer strain to see. Like a king's crown, your yellow light showed us through the darkest times, exposed us to the darkest of crimes when you labeled us a problem, a question. They answered with genocide, another problem, another question. They answer with atomic bombs, more problems, we stop asking. And instead promise, never again. But we lie, dead, as our babies boom. Might as well drop them out of the planes. It makes as much sense as cartoons, as war propaganda. Dear David, they gave you a nation, but what did you say? Are you trapped between those two blue bars, or can you still get away? Because Israel was dropped on top of Palestine and seems to be there to stay. Like one triangle turned around and dropped on another, you see. David, my brother cannot be anti-Semitic if he is as Semitic as me. Isaac, oh. Ishmael just wants to be free, but you've got him building pyramids out of the charred dust of bulldozed homes in the Gaza. Oh. Stripped of rights. You've let your brother naked and hungry too many nights, you, you pharaoh, cashing checks from the West Bank, you've become settled in your thinking. Unlike our Torah, you do not move, you have not turned, you, you six-sided sinner, you blind Goliath, you have a hexagon center that points nowhere but inward. What are you looking for out in that desert? Is it another ghetto? Are you somehow jealous of the swastika's popularity among disaffected youth. I mean, are you trying to be a badass? Or are you just an abused child, grown up, molesting your nephew and calling him names? Dear David, our homeland is neither. Just like the Christian conservative right is neither. And you, my symmetrical friend, you represent me no longer, because you are a problem, a question, and you answer with violence, repression, more problems, more questions. Your jagged corners do not know how to answer. How ashamed you've made us. I used to cover all my notebooks with tiny pictures of you. Now I tuck you under my shirt in order to hide my association with my role in unwillingly supporting your racial, national, religious apartheid. You make me sick, David. Oceans away fish for identity on my chest, reminding me who I am because of how you can't be, reminding me where I come from by showing us where we can't go. You are a fallen star, not lucky nor bright, yet I still see myself in you far too often, like some birthright trip to hypocrisy from Crofton, Maryland, 